once upon a time dropped 38 points on Kobe Bryant. He once hit a game winner on a team he's playing for. Wait, what? Jeremy Lin is on the Raptors? Hey guys, it's your boy Trey from Nothing But Hoops, and today's video is on Jeremy Lin and if he'll be a major help to the Toronto Raptors. Without further ado, let's begin. As you may know by now, the Toronto Raptors have signed point guard Jeremy Lin after he was waived by the Atlanta Hawks. Jeremy, who a lot of Hawks fans believe was going to get traded before the trade deadline, was not traded, but rather waived by the Hawks. Jeremy, who was playing with one of the worst teams in the East, is now playing for the third best team in the NBA. You might be saying, Fred Van Fleet is a way better player than Lin is, and yes, you might be right. But when comparing stats for this season, let's see what we get. For this season with the Hawks, Lin was averaging 10.7 points per game, 3.5 assists, and 2.3 rebounds all in under 20 minutes of play. Now if we take a look at Raptors guard Fred Van Vliet, who Lin will be replacing. With almost 7 minutes more per game, with just under 27, Van Vliet averages 10.5 points per game, 2.7 rebounds per game, and 4.6 assists per game. With Van Vliet having 7 extra minutes, Lin and Van Vliet's stats were almost similar. With the only real difference being Fred's assists. So how will having Lin actually help the Raptors? Well, here are some reasons why it might help the Raptors and not make them worse, hopefully. With the Raptors acquiring Marc Gasol from the Grizzlies, that forced them to give up DeLon Wright and CJ Miles, which basically left the Raptors backcourt kind of empty. Then on top of that, Van Fleet gets a thumb injury and that will keep him out for at least 5 weeks. Then Raptors thought Ben McLemore is coming to town, but then the CBA prevented the Raptors from signing him to a 10 day contract. So what guards do Raptors have on the bench? You might have guessed it, Norman Powell and nobody else. Bruh. So now with having Lin, the Raptors can now breathe knowing that they will have a guard coming off the bench for Lowry. Hopefully, it will be enough to win some games because looking at the East, we know that depth will likely be the deciding factor for the race in the Eastern Conference. With 76ers adding Tobias Harris, Bucks adding Mericic, just imagine a 7 game playoff series with 2 Eastern Conference contenders. Because all it takes is one bench player to make a difference. And with having more bench players, that means there's a better chance for somebody to impact the game. And with that being said, you can never have enough help, but as of right now, the Raptors need it. And let's just hope Jeremy Lin can be that player he was back in 2012. Lin Sanity. Well, that's it for today. Do you think Lin Sandy Part 2 will take place in Toronto? Make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below on what you think of this situation. Keep hooping and peace out. Whenever storms headed over my way, no matter